What is up? Uh, guys, this is exciting. This is the first video uh, that uh, we're putting up. We are the King's Table. Uh, this is Preston talking. Get to know my voice. Get to love my voice. Because uh, hopefully uh, you'll be hearing it a lot more. Uh, Tony is also in the room with me. He's our computer wizard for this video. Um, but we got some fun stuff. We're going to crack some cases. Two cases to be exact. Uh, this is my case that I ordered. Um, got it from Forge and Fire. Uh, look at this playmat. Guys, it's insane. I love that there are so many people passionate about the game uh, creating some insane playmats with these case orders. Uh, so we're going to crack this one today. And then we're going to crack another one tomorrow. And because we can't control ourselves, um, I doubt this will be the last. And so I'm going to cut this open and we'll get started. This is... Uh, I'm going to cut this off camera so you guys can't see that I am terrible with this. Uh, yeah, so we've been uh, playing TCGs for a long time. Um, I want to say 2000, uh, not a long time, uh, you know. We're just going to cut that box out of there. Look at that. So beautiful. So many booster boxes, so many booster packs. Uh, yeah, playing TCGs for a number of years, found Flesh and Blood, the best of the TCGs, am I right? And, uh, really looking forward to Outsiders. Uh, it's been, uh, I just had a child, so I have not been able to do any limited stuff recently. Um, Tony's gotten to play one pre-release, one pre-release. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, we have a skirmish local to us that is uh, doing limited format. Uh, so that's going to be really exciting, hitting that up next week. And this is just so that no one has to wonder, because um, I have seen some other case opening videos where people have been curious. Uh, my box was a Japan print, so that's why they're all uh, the plastic packs. But uh, this is exciting. I'm very excited for this. Uh, we'll do, on this first box, I don't know, I'll probably open a couple of them. Oh my goodness. I really... This is terrible. Just yeah. The top of it. Um, I really miss paper packs. I forgot how much I don't like plastic packs. Uh, anyway, really excited for Outsiders. Uh, playing Azalea since before she was cool. And I'm going to go slow a little bit on some of these first couple of packs. And then uh, we'll just sort of cut to the good stuff. Fleetfoot Sandal. Got us a little plunge. A little sneak attack. And then Spike of Blood Rot. Ooh. I'll take that. I love... Flesh and Blood does the best foils. You know, I mean, fight me on it. But I will. I'll defend that stance any day. Especially, I mean, the cold foil is such a cool concept. Uh, I really like that. But even just rainbow foil. Everything rainbow foil, flesh and blood, is incredible. All right. Seek Rising. Sedation Shot. Spring Load. All right. A Toxic Tips. A Plunge. We got a Spinning Wheel Kick. Put my commons up there. Ooh, all right, we'll take that. And then Anna Foil, or uh, Foil Rare, looking for a scrap. Little little Plague Mask guy. I think that would be a cool play mat, uh, but uh, I think everything will be a cool play mat um, because I just really like play mats. Deadly Duo. Cut out of size. I'm just like I'm. I'm so ready to get to all of the uh, all of the packs and start pulling some fun stuff that I said I was going to go slow, but I know I'm not going to be able to actually control myself and go slow. So we got a Boulder Trap, Infectious Host. Got a Foil Seeker's Leggings. Take that. I'm just gonna put. Uh, I think I'll just put all my foils in one. Stack. I don't really care. I just really like shiny things. A little 
faster. Red Bar Tunic, Blood Rot Trap, got a Pendulum Trap, and a Spike of Frailty, and a Foil Sedate. Uh, you know, actually, let me put these down. Look at this. I, I opened a couple packs earlier, and I did come across a Foil Sedate, and it's just so nice. Really, really dig that Foil. Just a common, but that's fine. We'll take Foils. The You know, I think the really nice thing about... Uh, Outsider seems to have a lot of really playable commons. Uh, example, Infecting Shot. And I think that because of that, it sort of makes it easier to get all of the playable stuff that you want. Uh, oh, Red Death Touch. Gosh, I love that card. Uh, the Bonds of Ancestry, and then a Foil Virulent Touch. Um... But I think what's so fantastic about this set and having so many playable commons uh, is it just makes it really easy to foil out all of your commons. And, uh, oh, there's one hanging. It's a, it's a fable. No, it's not. It's a plague hive. Oh, another death touch. For some reason, I always think that virulent touch. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't even care about what I was going to say about Virulent Touch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I do. I'll come back to what I was going to say. Fantastic. That's going to save me uh, a lot of money because I tell you what, when you have the Chicago Brawl, see, this is sick foil too. That's, That's exactly what I'm saying. Foil in the, the series. This is so good. It's so fantastic. It's so uh, but that's what I was saying with, um, with, well, I was talking about a bunch of things. Some about foils. But uh, every foil is fantastic. Um, but I'm glad I pulled a premeditate because I don't know if you're watching this video, if you had a chance to see any of the um, any of the results of the Chicago Brawl that MinMax hosted. But the uh, final was a uh, was an Azalea Mirror match and uh, Codex of Frailty uh, shot up. Immediately after that, as did Premeditate. So the more I can pull of those, means I don't have to buy a bunch. I think there were, I want to say, I want to say that even Premeditate, I've seen 25, 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Another Death Touch. I think there's a theme here, guys. Lace with Frailty and a Foil be Like Water. got a humble bonds of ancestry and a foil scout the periphery sick i love the foils you're like There's really great foils in this set i know it's like just keep going make this video shorter and don't show us all the commons listen i'll stop for the foils okay keep going I just, I dig the art on this card. Listen, as much as I want to, ooh. I think I might have seen something. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. As much as I, as much as I want to go fast, I also just really like the art in all this set. So I'm going to probably say that a lot. Uh, nice. Stab wound. Oh, no. I just was not paying attention. Well, there you go. I mean, look. Again, the foil. It's just, this, it's a snake. It's a common. But I, I just like the foils. So anyway, uh, someday when our... Uh, channel and our King's Table podcast, which is uh, soon to be coming as well. Uh, when we blow up, um, you guys can just send us shiny comments if that you don't want, and uh, we'll be fine with that. Infectious Host, uh, Fletch Yellow, and a 1 2 punch foil. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, yeah, okay. A cool foil of class. Uh, Okay, a cool foil of class. Uh, I almost just like set down the tokens and kept going. That is that fantastic. Is cool. And a crack bottle. Which now, I don't know. You know, sometimes I believe the uh, 
the Twitter, the Fab Twitter talk, where there's look for cracked bobbles because cold foils will be there too, but whatever. Uh, wow, that is fantastic. I can't believe I almost just set that down because I was blabbering on about, I don't know, a, a common foil or something else. A tar pit trap and a foil spire. I think. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm really close to having most of the stuff uh, that I need for Azalea from Outsiders, uh, all in foil. Um, obviously not the Codexes or the Premeditates, but we'll get there, right? Okay, a Humble, Lace with Inertia, and a Back Heel Kick. Oh, am I going to do the thing? Oh, no. I just wondered if it was going to be that thing where I look at a really shiny foil and miss a cold foil in my right hand. Uh... Here. No matter how much I want to be fast opening these, I just know that like every card in this set makes me want to stop and stare at it. Oh yeah, that is excellent. I'll take that. Look at that. Foil red death touch. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw that in there just to protect that foil. That's awesome. Nope. Okay, bleed out. A Fletcher Red Tail and a Foil Wreck Havoc. Nice. Yellow. Let's get some foil. Listen, even if there's nothing else that comes out of this box, a cold foil or a bit of class and uh, the usable foils. And that's the thing, right? It's like, you want, you know, some people might uh, get on and do some case openings and uh, you know, it's the, it's the legendaries that are worth uh, the celebration. And that's true. Celebrate your legendaries, celebrate your cold foils. But you still have to build a deck, right? You still need a deck. You still need cards to go in that deck. And so we celebrate everything around here. We celebrate all the foils. Anything to make your flesh and blood deck look that much shinier. What do we got? A red sneak attack. A red recoil. And a virulent touch that I keep mistaking as being not. Oh, oh, it's a foil. Yeah, it's a foil. Look at that. I mean, what's gross, I don't know if you've noticed this, if you've mm -hmm. seen a foil one, but like the disease on the arms is the foiled part. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. Nah. It's great. No. Guys, I really miss paper packs. I can't wait until every factory that prints flesh and blood uses paper packs. I love the masks too. Okay, red backstab. A codex of inertia. That is excellent. And then another brush off. So cool. Azalea, best hero in the game, S tier. Uh, she's gonna living legend by the end of the year. Not really, but she won't have zero anymore. And that's all I'm, that's all I'm looking for. Praise be. Just a fun card, sorry. I promise, you know what? I, I'm i actually not going to apologize because I love this game. And I'm gonna stop at all of the stuff that is fantastic. Oh, there we go. Look at that, Rainbow Foil, Crown of Seeds Killer. Yeah, I mean, Vambrace of Determination. Uh, while I'm sleeving this, fantastic. Uh, while I'm sleeping this uh, and talking about Crown of Seas and Old Hams, uh, there was a podcast recently, uh, an episode uh, that featured the, um, oh, I remember his name, I promise, Brandon, Brandon from uh, Metal Fab Tokens, and he was talking about, um, he was talking about his plans for the like three affliction t tokens from outsiders and uh one of them was 
the inertia token and it, he said it was going to be uh old him in carbonite and as a flesh and blood fan and a star wars fan uh i will be purchasing i don't know a hundred of them uh it sounds fantastic and i i, I just i'm ready for it I love metal fab tokens and I really want to see old him in carbonite red hurl infectious host and I don't know the foil on the edge of the sword blade Epic. there are two packs left in this box and then I'll try and go into hyper mode which just means that I'm not going to because I love flesh and blood. If you guys want a fast, ooh, okay, nice. Foil red bleed out. Uh, if you guys want a fast box opening, you can come back to our next video for Tony's box opening. Um, and uh, that's gonna be way faster. And I just want you guys to know ahead of time, I'm 100% lying to you. Oh, yeah, okay. Backstab, nerve scalpel. All right, so, uh, you know, Guys, this, this wasn't a terrible box. Uh, I'll do a quick box one recap. Um, and because it's me, I'm going to recap all my... No, I'm not. Um, yeah, not bad. Not a bad box one. So now, is box... Are the rest of the boxes going to be terrible? Are they going to be incredible? Who knows? Uh, this set is insane. Um, I've opened a couple boxes of Flesh and Blood thus far, um, since we started playing the game, and I've had some good boxes, I've had some garbage boxes, uh, but this set has been, it's been so fun to watch, people open boxes and cases and uh, I just, I love this set so much, and that's not just because a red humble, take that. Uh, and that's not just because I love, yes. Yo, what a card. Uh, th there's going to be people that are just like, oh my goodness, this box video was terrible. They spent five minutes every friggin' pack just looking at foil commons. Yeah. Because, uh, you know what? Commons are what we build decks out of. And that's something that's uh, really important to us here at King's Table. That's going to be um, really one of the focuses as we begin to launch uh, a YouTube channel and launch a podcast and do all the insane things that we've uh, that we've dreamed up of doing about this game that we love. Um, you know, it really comes down to um, there's enough people that are spending all of their time in flesh and blood trying to win battle hardens and callings and they're trying to win uh you know all the things and have thousand dollar decks and all of that and that's fun and that's awesome um we're planning on going to the battle hardened in salt lake this summer and so uh there's a place for that but there's a lot of people oh another red death touch uh but there's a lot of people who want to play this game and uh, you know, that can seem overwhelming when you say that, hey, there's a staple called Spring Tunic and it's a few hundred dollars. Uh, that can feel overwhelming to new players. And so one of the things that we really want to focus on and one of the things that we're passionate about is building flesh and blood communities and uh, going through the process and putting in the work to, I'm going to knock that pile over, um, going through the process of building communities and, oh, Ooh. that foil is fantastic. And, um, yeah, and just making the game accessible to people. And, uh, you know, one of the ideas that we're... Let me move these comments out here. One of the ideas that we're tossing around is like, you know, what if you what if you just want to win an armor? What if your goal is to just win some sweet prizes on a Friday or Saturday night? And, um, you know, you can't travel to callings and you can't travel to all these things. Um, but you still want to taste victory and you still want cool play mats and you still want, um, you know, all these things. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm going to take a break from my soapbox here and just... This is one of the coolest rainbow foils in this set, I think. Right. Um, yeah, but you like you just want to win some prizes and you want to enjoy your time at Armories. And so, like, 
how do you do that when all you've got to spend is, you know, 30 bucks or something like that? How do you win uh, a local armory and take home some, you know, some cool prizes and stuff? And I think that's, that's not a terrible goal to have at all uh, to come into this game and say, you know, I just want to have fun and I don't want to feel like um, I'm just losing every single game, but I don't have a ton of money to spend. I can't, you know, just go hop on, uh, you know, Min Max or one of these fantastic flesh and blood sellers and, you know, go buy a spring tunic or something like that. I, uh, you know, uh, Ooh, they're red infiltrate. So anyway, Oh, that even that anyway, that's going to be something. Oh, Oh, look again. I, okay. Look at this. So I was like, Oh, cool. Look at this razor's edge foil. And in my other hand is a cold foil. That's fantastic. I wonder how many times I'm going to do that. <laughs> We're not ha quite halfway through, so. Yeah, so, sorry guys. My money's on at least a few more. Just watch how many times I forget something in my right hand. Uh, anyway, guys, so yeah, if that's something, if you're like, what does it take to win an armory with a $30 deck, uh, then you should watch out for our stuff to come because, oh, look at, oh, look at that. Because uh, that's, that's what we're passionate about. That's what we love. We think that more people should be able to play this game. Um, and that's not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be one of those content creators that's like, oh, well, everyone's leaving magic because magic is stupid and all these things. That's not, you know, there's conversations to be had there and I'm not interested in them right now. I'm interested in just saying, hey, oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. No, I'm not interested in saying, oh, yeah, that was terrible timing. <laughs> that's uh, such a great card. That's a beautiful card. Another common foil. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> You know, I'm just interested. I'm just interested in seeing, uh, having a conversation about what does it take to get more people to play this game, the like the best TCG. It just, it just is. Changed my mind, right? Uh, so, what does it take to get more people playing this game? Oh, that's pretty cool. And I think that uh, you know we're kind of talking about it, and I don't know if you have any other thoughts. Like, hit us up on. Twitter or uh, throw a comment in the video, but um, I think that thirty dollars is a very reasonable, um, a very reasonable price point. Nice, because um, you think about like you think about Pokemon and they have their league battle decks, and those unless you have a local game store that likes to raise the prices, those league battle decks, you know, they float in the the thirty dollar price range. And you think about like a commander precon for magic, um, those are going to be, you know, 45 to, well, I mean, some of them, you know, skyrocket immediately to, uh, 60, 70, $80 or whatever. If there's, well, I've got my place at a red death touches, yeah. so that's excellent. Um, and a foil Sweet. sedation shot. Love it. Um, and so we just we think that thirty dollars is is pretty reasonable. I mean, Tony earlier put together a was it a Katsu or a Benji? Katsu, a, a Katsu deck that still has the Dishonor line as part of it. Dishonor and the the Cyclone Roundhouse. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So Dishonor and Cyclone Roundhouse. So unless something crazy happens, <clears throat> excuse me. So unless something crazy happens where those skyrocket, um, then like. He was able to do that at the $30 price point. And that's just insane that you can build, um, you know, a playable deck for 30 bucks and have those really fun ninja lines. So not only are you getting a new player into the game um, with something that is, oh, a, a foil majestic. Oh, okay. That's it. Um, so you guys were so passionate about new players or about new people playing the game that I'm just going to skip over all this cool stuff because I'm really excited about talking about getting new people to play the game. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. Like you want people to be able to have fun when they're playing a deck. I mean, how many times do you, uh, you know, crack open a pre-constructed deck for a card game and it's playable, but it's not really fun and you don't really get much shot at winning anything with it. Um, but to be able to put some of the most fun pieces of Tatsu from Outsiders, uh, in a deck, like that's, 
that's a really cool feat and a really cool way, you know, you get, um, it's all about those big moments, right? So you get, uh, oh man, this is fantastic. Oh, oh, and we got a rainbow foil. There you go. Is that the same side you had before? Uh, oh yeah. It's from this box. I was like, I pulled a different, oh no, other side. Look at that. Look at that. Um, but you know, when you, when you get new people into a game, uh, if you hand them a deck and then you say, here you go, spend the next two hours of the armory losing, uh, they're probably not going to come back and play. Uh, but if they get an opportunity to just one time, imagine being a new player and one time you get to pull off the dishonor or cyclone roundhouse line for Katsu, like you're hooked. You're, you're going and you're buying piles of booster packs from the, oh, nice. You're going and you're buying like piles of um, booster packs from the LGS you're playing at because like you're hooked. You, you, you just got to cycle and roundhouse someone in the face. Someone that's been playing since Flesh and Blood started and now you have the opportunity to, uh, you know, like win a game and do something awesome in it. So um, I think that's what it's about. I think you got to create those moments and you don't need thousand dollar decks that's really cool i love that as a foil that's so good it's just such a sweet art too i hope it's a play mat you'll also hear me say that a lot <laughs> um but yeah it's just like it's that that's how you create new players and uh i think that uh you don't need anything expensive to do that you can i always stop one slot short i keep doing yeah. that um you can do that for a very affordable rate. Almost to the end of box two. There we go. See, I almost did it again. I'll get it eventually. A death touch, a humble, and a foil razor's edge. I, I gotta keep checking the one behind the foil so that I don't like, ooh, I got a cold foil in this hand. I love the razor's edge too. <clears throat> yep, two packs left. Making messes in my piles here, and you know I'm also I'm also curious if uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to leave some comments, what uh, if you're out there trying to build a community, you're out there trying to get new people into the oh my goodness, Another fantastic, one. and a foil Is seekers a hood, foil? no just a rainbow foil. Um, if you're out there and you are trying to get new people into the game. You're trying to get, uh, you know, your friends you play TCGs with. You're trying to get them hooked on the game. And, like, that's a, a struggle for you. Or you're having issues at your, like, LGS trying to get the game started. Uh, just, like, let us know. Let us know what what questions you might have. Uh, you know, like, what, what struggles are you encountering trying to get that started. Because uh, I tell you what, I mean, we're not, uh, you know, we're not necessarily experts by any means. But... Our flesh and blood play group locally has gone from the two of us, two of us. Uh, to now we're consistently getting 10 to 15 people at an armory. Um, and just so you know, if we were like in the middle of a big city, you'd be like, oh, 10 people. Uh, we are not in the middle of a big city. We are in a small town in Montana. So uh, the fact that we can get 10 to 15 people every single week um, is like actually, actually pretty big. Um, you know, for our area and for just what we're working with. So, oh, this is going to be the magic one. It flew out of the pack. So, this will be the magic first one. This is box three. Uh, that's Tony's hand. Everyone say hi to Tony's hand. Um, yeah, well, like, what, what struggles are you having getting new people into the game? Whether it be, yeah, it doesn't even have to be at your LGX, but, like, um, when you're just having conversations with your friends about the game and they bring up some of the things that I mentioned, like, um, really dope. Uh, like, oh, it's just too expensive. Or I looked at some decks online. I looked on, you, you know, you sent me a link to Fabrary and I really like, uh, I really like the idea of this hero, but I clicked on a deck and it was $900. Um, you know, is that the sort of conversation that you're having with them? Uh, because, you know, again, if, if we can help you or help them get to the place where they're building armory winning decks for $30, then... I think you're you're gonna get them into the game pretty quick. Uh, 
Collins of Ancestry. Tar Pit and a Foil Hurl. All right. More tokens. I just now realized that all of the, yeah, okay. I did it that time. Uh, all of the character posters um, are heroes from Outsiders. And it took me that long of sitting at this desk to realize that. So that's fine. Listen, guys, I just really good at making armory winning $30 decks. Not so good at paying attention to what's behind the desk. Got a toxicity, looking for a scrap, and a foil Merkmeyer. All right, some bleed out, infectious host. And another Razor's Edge. Okay. Got a Lace of Frailty, Bonds of Ancestry, and a Foil Deadly Duo. I think the Ninja Foils are pretty sick. There's some really great Ninja Foils, not just in this set, but I also think I was in the process of building a Katsu deck just for fun. Uh, Tony plays a lot of ninja. I do not. Look at this. I'm hiding the scale peeler. Look at this. Uh, Tony plays a lot of ninja. I do not. Ooh, foil Fletch. Uh, but I want to because I want to understand it. And I don't know if Katsu has a you know a breakout and just decides to be super awesome, then it'd be nice to know how to play against them. Uh, and I ended up getting a couple white border Katsu specialization cards. And listen, some people, some people obnoxiously hate on white border, but those white border ninja cards are just fantastic looking. I like white border. I love those cards. The infection shot cards are always, they're so good. They foiled so well. Anyway, all that to say, don't hate on white border. Another red death touch. I don't think I'm in short supply of the red death touches. And a foil oh, spreading one. plague. Is that really the second you, one? Yeah. Isn't that what you got last? The last time I ignored a foil yeah. majestic? Not mythic, because that's not the game we're playing. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, okay. All yeah. right, all right. I'll take that. Could be worse. It certainly could be. Uh, we still have a box and a half to go, and I, if we stopped right here and said that this was my case, I would not be upset by that at all. Melting point. Oh, oh and go. a foil. A double, ma oh man. Look at Whoa. that. That was a double majestic pack. That's crazy. Jeez. That's crazy. Love it. I'm so stoked to see that. Yeah, I mean, we could stop right now, and this would be my case, and I would, I would be so very happy. <clears throat> I have never opened this many packs of a TCG um, in one sitting. In one sitting, oh well, yeah, definitely, open this definitely <laughs> open this many, uh, but never in one sitting. And so I just keep looking over to the pile of paper wrappers or of plastic wrappers next to me, and it's like. Kind of a good feeling to know that that's my mess to clean up, and that's fine because, like, this is what I got in return. Oh yeah, foil spike with frailty. Man, I love this set so much. There's like, there's, there's a couple of flesh and blood sets that I feel like I've opened enough to where I would be okay not opening them ever again. Uh, Uprising is one of them. Like, getting into flesh and blood. That, nice. Getting into Flesh and Blood, the the first like larger event that we played, which we had been in the game a month and a half, maybe, yeah. maybe two months, and we went to a pro quest, and I took Dromai, and so uh, I was just like, whenever I was going to an LGS, another Red Wreck Havoc. Okay. 
whenever we'd go to like our LGS, we were like ordering packs or whatever, like I'd get a bunch of Uprising. And then there was this period where we did a bunch of Uprising drafts. Uh, and Uprising has not been a kind set to me. Uh, so like that's one of the sets I'm very much over opening. Nice. Red down and dirty. And another. Oh, yes. The foil. There you go. Yes. Here we go. So, listen, I get people really liking the Masco Momentum and Katsu, uh, but for a common, I want to try it. I want to give it a shot, and I got the cold foil. Uh, funny story, I actually ordered a cold foil one for like a couple bucks from someone online, just in case I didn't pull one, and now I have it. So I guess I've got two now. I guess that's how it works. A uh, red hurl, looking for a scrap, and a foil sneak attack. I haven't seen a foil of this yet. Look at that. That's really good. All the different metal pieces. The, the, the weapon. Oh, that's that's so fantastic. Another hurl, tar pit, and a foil malign. How do people do case opening videos in like three minutes? No, not really. It's not three minutes, but maybe part of it is that they have paper packs. That certainly helps. There Ooh. Paper packs, okay. paper packs, you just look at hard enough and they'll open. Oh, that one, that one came open pretty quick. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So is this like two play sets of red death touch Please. for me? This is excellent. I get that uh, everyone likes to pull the legendaries, right? Like, legendaries are great. Fables are great. Majestics even are great. But, like, sometimes, sometimes it's really just about walking away from a bunch of packs and saying, now I don't have to buy all those cards that I really wanted to play uh, because I pulled them all. And, you know, that's not, like, a terrible spot to be in. Um... It's like, even if it's not big money, as long as it's playable, that's, that's big money to me. So N not having to buy a copy of death touch because I pulled a thousand of them is all right with me. Got a bleed out, got a pendulum trap and a foil descending ghost wave. Uh, two packs left in this box feels like. All right. Cut to... Now I just need a cold foil. Oh yeah. There you go. I just need a cold foil uh, toxic tips and I will be a happy camper. Right to the end, we got the toxicity, lace with blood rot, and then a foil lace with blood rot. Oh, gross. Shiny disease. And the last box. This is incredible. I'm buying cases more often now. You know what? I guess I'm also kind of curious too. Uh, if you liked what we were saying about the, uh, you know, thirty dollar decks, like how do you win an armory with a, a deck like that? Uh, that idea sounds good to you. Um, what do you want to see? What decks would you want to see? Uh, or if you want to challenge us and you think that you can't win uh, an armory with a $30 deck uh, with a certain hero, then tell us what hero you think that is and I will prove you wrong. Not really. I don't know. I will certainly try because next month the armory promo is Cold Foil Crow's Nest. And I am an Azalea player, so I will be trying to win all of them. I don't need four of them. But I will try to win all of them. Foil snake. snake. All right. Whoop. So many toxicities. Fletch and a foil inertia trap. All right. 
We got a bleed out, tar pit, and a foil bee like water. All right. Okay, an infectious host. Oh my goodness, another abitoclast. This is great. I love this foil. I also, again, I just, I think that uh, some people are going to have a chuckle at our videos when we are focusing on the uh, foil common. Oh yeah, a little Benji. Uh, oh, oh, and a foil go. dishonor. So funny thing about Benji, uh, any of you who have uh, so gracefully chosen to watch this video of ours, and you've got to this point in the video, uh, which I realize is in 40 something minutes now. Uh, Tony, the other half of the King's Table, uh, has done something that is rather unfortunate. You guys want to know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. He has built a Benji deck that sucks. And let me tell you what I mean by it sucks. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, I am very proud of my friend for uh, making what is arguably one of the worst decks I've ever played against in any TCG. And we have a friend who has 20 years of magic collection. Uh, and I would play any of his decks before I would want to play Benji. Uh, Tony's Benji, de Benji deck is a work of art. And if you want it, <laughs> you can't have it. Because that means that there's more people in the world playing that stupid deck. Death Touch. Oh! Another one? Is that, is that Rainbow Foil? Yep, Rainbow Foil also. All right. Not too shabby. Two Van Braces. Does that mean we can, like, double punch Oldham in the yeah, face? I think that does. I'm just kidding. I like Oldham. The, the thing I like most about old him is that he can now lose to Azalea. And that makes me very happy. Again, Azalea was one of the first... When we first started playing this game, mm -hmm. Azalea was one of the first that I wanted to play. And I promise I'm not a bandwagoner. You wanted to play Azalea so bad you even played Lexi. <laughs> Uh, there's like a handful of people out there that understand just how funny that is. It's hilarious because yeah, if you want to play, if you in the past you wanted to play Azalea, but you also wanted to win, but you also wanted to win, you had to play Lexi. My goodness, listen, so many toxicities. Oh, foil bleed out. Uh, toxicity is going to be the the sub name. <laughs> Get your life together, man. That is fantastic. I don't know what I did. <laughs> These are all... Those are yeah, those are all those common. Are okay, yeah. excellent. Sorry, guys. I'm just really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, Azalea's winning things. And that... I'm just so stoked about that. All right. Spike with inertia. A recoil. And a foil plunge. You know what I haven't seen yet? Uh, I've not seen... I uh, got a foil dishonor, but I haven't seen any roundhouse cyclones. Hmm. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Got backstab, spinning wheel kick, and another foil destructive. All right. Another bonds. Oh, go. yeah. Okay, two out of three. We got two out of three premeditates. Can we hit the third for a playset? This case. You know, still have to drop 90 bucks on three co <laughs> codexes of inertia, but... Uh, does someone want to trade me 5,000 death touches? Oh, Seeker's Hood. I just skip in passing because I just saw cold foil. See, guys, I noticed the cold foil this time. I love on that one, if you get the light just right on it, you see all the buckles and stuff. Like all the details. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Pop out. Yeah, so yeah. Good. That's dope. I noticed it this time, though, guys. I'm going to put that over the two legendaries. All right, 
recoil. Oh! <laughs> what a case! What a case! Okay, so now I have to buy two of these. <laughs> still, still hurts. Uh, but I think we only have to buy. Oh, what was the foil? The foil was that. Sorty foil. Uh, and I uh, have to buy a premeditate. tape. Unless I just trade away that second band brace. Another mask. I love the mask so much. They're just so cool. I just love everything about the set. Looking for a scrap and a foil recoil. Got what, six, eight packs left? Something like that? I don't even think you got quite that many left. Of this box? Yeah. I'm gonna buy so many more boxes of the set. See, I almost did it again. Hurl, humble, and a prowl. Lead out, spinning wheel kick, and a foil skybound shot. All right, what do we think? Any more fire left in this box? Yep, yep, I accidentally saw it. I think there's one more cold foil left to be had. A sneak attack, a backstab, a foil spike with inertia. No, what was I seeing then? Never mind. I thought it was. I'm sorry. Ah! I'm all over the place, guys. I just like this set so much, and I just want to open so many more packs. Infectious. Another give and take. All right. And a short and sharp. There are two left. What do we think? Any fire? Any fire left? In this case, that has already been incredible. It's looking for a scrap. Oh, and amnesia. Amnesia. And then a foil razor's edge. Last pack. Lit. Do we have the magic? And then we'll do a quick recap, and then we will stop taking all of your time. Even though this is a YouTube video, and it's not live, so we're not really... Ah, and a foil Widowmaker. Nice. I'll take that. That's a hit. You know? All right. Well, uh, this case was insane. Uh, we've got... I'm just going to stack all the cool stuff because I lost track of sorting somewhere along the way. And uh, I don't care. It's all fantastic. Got a cold foil seeker's hood. Uh, we got an amnesia, a give and take, a wander with a purpose for Benji, the dumbest hero in the game. Uh, just kidding. Please don't comment angry things at me melting point another amnesia another melting point concealed blade infiltrate a codex of inertia a stab wound a premeditate a shuriken then we've got the beautiful the ranger help that we needed to propel us to living legend in a month uh and another premeditate foil dishonor this was a fun one gosh that's fantastic uh, got a bunch of the M daggers. Oh, the cold foil mask mini faces. Yes, I know it's a common. Right, leave me alone. It's pretty. It's incredible. Foil barbed undertow. What a hit. I'm really excited to run that card. A couple spreading plagues. Scale peeler. Uh, another orbitoclast. A nerve scalpel. The cold foil flea foot sandals. The pirate shoes. I don't, have you found a good use for this card? Uh, I've not. I want to though. I want to find a way to make it worth using. Because now we got a cold foil. Yeah. And then the cold foil or bit of class. Oh, man. Incredible. And then the two legendaries. A couple of embraces. Well, that was a fantastic case. And uh, I'm going to go order six more cases. And thanks so much. <laughs> uh, welcome to the King's Table. This is certainly not the last bit of content we'll ever produce. And we're, uh, we're really excited to dive into flesh and blood. Not just as players, but... As creators, as community builders, and um, really as as new player helpers, and that's that's what we're we're passionate about. We're excited to do so. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and you will see us back soon for uh, another Outsiders case opening. Thanks so much.